It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Pittsburgh Steelers, and it comes your way next. EA Sports and the National Football League welcome you to AccraSure Stadium here in the Steel City of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. A good one looming in one of the tougher divisions in football. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson with you. Greg, this division, year in, year out, man, it is physical. It's tough, and it's always tight at the top. You get here one more year, and you look at everybody, and you can make a case that this could be a team that can make a playoff run. Yeah, and especially the case, Mike, that last year, three of the four teams made the playoffs, the only exception being the Cincinnati Bengals, who went 9-8 and eight without their star quarterback, Joe Burrow, down the stretch. So here you are going into this year. All four of these teams are legitimate playoff contenders. And when you look around the league, I'm not sure there's another division with a straight face that I'd be willing to say that. The veteran Chris Boswell ready to get things going. And off we go from the Steel City. Justice Hill to return. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. The Ravens led out by the reigning MVP of the National Football League, Lamar Jackson, already season seven. Greg, he's won a couple of MVPs, and he's as talented as we see in the league. There's just certain guys, Mike, when they take the field and they step into the huddle, the other 10 players, they just take a little bit of a deeper breath. They're like, man, I'm glad this guy is on our side, and he's certainly one of them. He just brings an element of confidence to everybody else around him, not only in the huddle, but on the sideline, on the defense, the coaching staff. Everyone is better as a result of him being your quarterback. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. So they have these rules for the receivers, Mike. They call them green grass rules. And the idea is if you're running across the field and you're looking at the quarterback, you're going to stay on the run. If you're not looking at the quarterback, that tells him, I'm going to sit in this soft zone. I'm going to what they call punch and pivot and stop. And that tells the quarterback to put the ball on your chest. That nonverbal communication between the receiver and the quarterback recognizing when you're open, stay open, that's the stuff that makes a lot of these offenses so difficult to defend. I think this is something we're going to continue to see today, Mike, as this game goes along. They're going to make the defense make a decision. Do you want to account for the running back, or do you want to account for the quarterback? In this case, they choose the running back, and the quarterback makes them pay by picking up the first down. Heck of an effort by this runner, Mike, just to get back to the line of scrimmage. I think most backs around the league that play would have resulted in a loss, but not this guy. Continued to fight, continued to do everything he could to prevent the loss, but it still stopped for no gain. It's the tight end likely in motion. Off the play fake, Jackson. And the rush gets home. He'll go down. They got him. The NFL sack leader for 2023, T.J. Watt gets in there to bring him down. Looked like a pass protection breakdown. They had five offensive linemen and a running back in the backfield. I promise you, somebody was assigned to that linebacker, but he timed the blitz perfectly. He ran through and was able to bring him down for a big sack. Third and long for Jackson. He'll try and get there on the ground. So a good chunk of yardage there, but still well short of the first down. Sometimes it's just the case of taking what the defense gives you. And, and here's one of those examples. There's nowhere for him to go with the ball for a minute. It looked like he was going to be able to pick up this first down with his legs. The defense rallies, brings him down short of the first down marker, sets up fourth down. So the drive ends, and on comes Jordan Stout to kick it away. Calvin Austin, deep for the Steelers. The Steelers led out by their quarterback, Russell Wilson. Still strange to not see him in a Seattle uniform where he was for a decade, a couple of years with the Broncos. And now, Greg, the nine-time Pro Bowler, year one in Pittsburgh. 
If he's going to lead his team to a win, he has to be smart with his decision-making. The last thing you want to do is give the opposing team an extra possession solely because you got reckless with the ball. As long as he is calculated with those risks, I think they have a good chance today coming out on top. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. Wilson going to throw right away. That's caught right side. It's fire move. About 15 yards to kick off the drive. It's a first down. Well, I'll tell you what, Mike. This is one of those times where you really see the evolution of the tight end position, right? It's not the days of just go past the first down, turn around, catch it, and fall. We see so many guys around the league that with the ball in their hand, they're almost more running back than they are tight end. They'll run it for the first time with Najee Harris. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. I think he's going to lose a yard. How often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back? But not this guy. Does a great job staying in phase, stretching this ball out sideways, and he brings him down for a loss. Now, a loose football. So the biggest thing that stands out here, Mike, is the fact that the defense just continues to pursue to the ball. Every defense focuses on get as many hats to the ball carrier as possible because if the guy in front of you, he misses the tackle or he falls down, you have to be there to make up for it. And the pursuit to the ball is not only how they're able to get him down, but it's ultimately how they're able to take the ball away. The Ravens offense going to take over now for the second time. They start with outstanding field position, trying to get the first points of this game. It'll be first and ten. Three tight ends in the game to start the drive. On first and ten, Jackson. Pressure gets there, and down he goes. Really nice start for this defense here early through the first quarter. Two different players each recording a sack. Offensive line is going to have to get together on the sideline with their coach and identify where's the weakness in our protection? How can we get extra bodies and extra attention? Because we still got a long way to go in this one. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Bateman is the motion man. Second down, Jackson. He's got his tight end, Mark Andrews. Well, they'll get some of the sack yardage back, but it's still going to leave them with third down. After that first down sack, I think we both kind of looked at each other and said, all right, well, there goes this drive. But a really nice job there in the passing game on second down. That big chunk brings them from second and long to now at least third and manageable. Slot man in motion right. He finds his receiver, that's Bateman. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. These are the type of plays that drive a coach crazy in the film room and you have to learn as a quarterback to avoid. You can take some chances, you can push the ball downfield, but not only to pick up a couple yards, you gotta pick your chances of when you wanna be aggressive and you gotta make sure you make better decisions going forward. And that ball out of reach toward the sideline. It'll be an incompletion. Searching for his Pro Bowl tight end Mark Andrews that time. It's second down. To the air one more time with Jackson. That's caught. Derrick Henry. And he can't get away. They rally to the football on defense and bring him down for no gain. I think the days where cornerbacks are either unwilling or unable to be involved in the run game, I think those days are over, Mike. I think when you look around the landscape of today's NFL, yes, you have to cover, but you also have to be able to come up and tap. On third down, Jackson. That's a gain of 16 yards. And it sets up first and goal. 
I know, I know, I'm biased. But listen, you can't convince me, Mike, that there's a better option on the field, especially when you got a guy like this, that on third down or critical moments, that's where the ball needs to go. The size, the speed, the matchup problems that he creates. If I was in a critical situation, there is no doubt where I'm going with the ball. No motion over Flowers. First and goal, and it's Henry. And a wall of bodies ready to greet him. He'll take this down to the four. Inside the five, it is second and goal. Open man is Bateman. He's got him. A very nice open field tackle there. He could not get free. He gains nothing. Good job so far by the defense protecting the short field. Now it's third and goal. From the shotgun, here's Jackson. Good blocking, and he's in. Lamar Jackson. Touchdown, Ravens. The defense comes up with the coverage, but they cannot keep up with the speed as the quarterback scrambles to the end zone for the touchdown. And down here in the red zone, Mike, is where I think a quarterback's legs can be the most dangerous. The defenders are trying to match backs, match tight ends and receivers, but often it's the quarterback that has no one assigned to him, and in this case, he's able to capitalize and run it in himself. Now Justin Tucker for the point after. It's up and good, and the Ravens will take a 7-0 lead. Out there is Tucker, and he'll kick this one away after the touchdown was scored. On the return, here comes Cordero Patterson. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The Steelers' offense and their running back, Jalen Warren, set to take over once more. They'll try to hold on to the football this time. Had the fumble on the opening possession, which led to a touchdown. So they trail early as they get it back first and ten. They'll come up here first and ten. They send Firemuth, the tight end, in motion. This drive begins with a run by Harris. And he's got some space. Up past the 30 to about the 32-yard line, a pickup of seven. Second down and three. On the handoff, this is Warren. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. The goal of every offense, Mike, is to find a way to establish a balance between the run and the pass. With some success here early on the ground, will open up things as the game unfolds for the quarterback in this passing game. They send Firemuth, the tight end, in motion. On first down, it's Harris. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. These edge rushers, they are judged by their sack totals, Mike. They love to rush the passer. But they have responsibilities in the run game as well. Great job here, keeping it to no gain. They'll try again here, second and 10. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. 
There's a short one caught by Fryermuth. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. 17 yards on that connection. Good for a Steeler first down. We are through one. It's the Ravens out front. And we're back to the Steel City after this. From the 39, here's a first and 10. They send Firemuth, the tight end, in motion. On the handoff, it's Harris. The yards are hard to come by there. They work it down to the 37-yard line. Second down and eight. From the shotgun, Wilson. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. Out of the gun, here's Russ. He's got his man. It's Pickens. That's his first reception of the ball game, and it really comes at a good time as they get the conversion on third down. Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, that's really more of a man beater. That's when teams want to just play you one on one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, like we saw here, it's a lot more simpler. Understand the concept of the play, understand where the holes in the defense are, and get there and be friendly to the quarterback. And if you're open, stay open. That's NFL route running. That's what the best guys do. These crossing concepts are frequently used, Mike, throughout the entire game, all across the league. And what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs. You run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch. And A dive, and he's in! Najee Harris, touchdown Pittsburgh. And this is what good offenses in the NFL do, Mike. It's the ability to bounce back, even if the onset of the game doesn't go exactly according to plan. Everybody wants to take their opening possession and go down there and come away with a touchdown but it's not always gonna be perfect. You turn it over on possession one. What are you gonna do in response on possession two? Well, we just got our answer and they took it down for six. Chris Boswell on for the point after. He gets it to go and the Steelers will level things out at seven apiece. So back to level after the touchdown and time for the kickoff. Hardy now with the return. Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. The Ravens offense ready to take over possession of the football. They'll work in a tie game here in the second quarter and get started with first and 10. start out on the ground with Henry 
and he does not want to go down. Somehow he turned that into a gain of six. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You gotta have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. Jackson now on second down. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. This is one of those throws where I don't think the risk is worth the reward. If you're going to throw the ball into tight coverage and take a chance, it better lead to a big gain, and in this case, a pretty modest pickup, considering that was a risky throw. They motion the slot man left. Oh, a bad time to run out of time. They don't get the playoff on third and short. So, from third and two, back them up to third and seven. From the gun, Jackson. He finds Likely, his tight end. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. Seemed to me, Mike, before that ball was even snapped, the quarterback had already made up his mind. I'm throwing the ball to the tight end no matter what the look is, and he's counting on the big body picking up the rest after the catch, and even though he's able to secure the ball, nice job by the defense keeping him short of the sticks. And he's going to be hit and dropped right away. That's great coverage there winds up with nothing on the return. First in 10. From the gun, it's Wilson. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Quarterback's lucky on that one, Mike, that that ball ended up just harmlessly falling to the ground. It was that initial pressure that got to him that forced the errant throw. And fortunately for this offense, that ball didn't end up going the other way. Here's a handoff to Warren. And he'll manage to get to the 33. The veteran Kyle Van Noy in on the tackle. Here comes third and six. Out of the gun, it's Wilson. He's got his tight end. That's fire move. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Third down is when we see so many tight ends around the league really make their money. They operate in the middle of the field. They're a big, easy target for the quarterback. And even if they are covered, Mike, they're not really ever covered. Now a first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Gonna run out of the gun, and here's Harris. And that'll be a pickup of three. They face second down and seven. Now Russ. He's got his man, Jefferson. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. The backfield empty here for third and two. Now it's Wilson. He's got his man right side. It's complete. Nice pick up here to the back. And what really stands out about this drive is the ability of the quarterback to really spread the ball around 
to multiple targets and put so much pressure on the defense deciding who do they want to account for because no matter who they try to take away, quarterback's doing a nice job of finding the open man. Here's a give left side to Harris. He'll manage only a couple. That's Justin Matabike making the play. Play action. It's Wilson. This one complete to Washington. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. Wilson now to throw on third down. That's over the middle and taken in. He's got it. And he's going to have the first down taken down after a short pickup of five, but it will keep the drive going. Jalen Warren is a guy that I really like. And when you look back to last year, he wasn't really a starter even for much of the season. They used him primarily in the passing game where he finished with 61 catches. Top five in the NFL for all running backs. And some space opens as he's brought down following a gain of six. Two minutes to play. First half, all tied at seven. We'll come back to the Steel City after this. They'll come up now for second down and four. Now it's Wilson. Here's a screen set up for Warren. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. Just a little slow developing on that screenplay there. It was pretty obvious to the entire defense exactly what was going on. Nobody was thinking pass. Nobody was getting back into their drops and just nowhere for that back to go. Third and two. Now Wilson to the goal line and in. Van Jefferson. Touchdown, Steelers. for the extra point is Boswell. The kick is good. And the Steelers will move out to a 14-7 lead. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Here comes Hill on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Ravens' offense ready to take over once more. They'll do so with first and ten. Bateman is the motion man. On first and ten, Jackson. And that one is complete along the boundary. Good job of getting those feet in back. This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, he's unable to keep his feet in bounds, but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate, and the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. 
Now a screen set up for Henry. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. They'll motion over Flowers. Jackson now to throw on first down. This throw right is taken in by Flowers. Second and seven. Jackson up top again. That's over the middle to the tight end, Andrews. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Set to go now on first. And ten. To the air one more time with Jackson. To the tight end, likely. And they're going to get this ball down to the 20-yard line. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL, you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. Everyone talks about being balanced. But as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early, and that last pickup leads to a first down. is Justin Tucker to try the field goal. This from 34 yards. Tucker's kick is good. And the Ravens are back within four at 14 to 10. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. Four seconds still to be played in this half as that one's away. This kick is fielded in the end zone, but no move to bring it out. It's touchback, and that ball will come out to the 30-yard line. First down. He's going to air this one out. And that is incomplete. One final chance does not work out. Time has expired. The first half has come to an end. Okay, Michael, thanks very much. And with that, we welcome you all into our EA Sports studios. This is the Halftime Report. We got a fine first half out of the former Alabama man, Najee Harris. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. Okay, Coach, thanks a bunch. We'll see which team's adjustment's going to pay dividends here. Likely going to play a big role in who wins this one. First half played out a bit as we expected. We'll see if there's a surprise coming up. Both teams set to go, and the second half is underway. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The Steelers' offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. The lead sits at four, so they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten.
Now Wilson. Quick throw on target to Pickens. And he's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. Second and a yard. On the handoff, here's Harris running right. Up the sideline, past midfield. And they will finally track him down inside the 40-yard line. The challenge of playing a running back like this is you feel like you have him under control. You're doing a nice job putting a lid on him. And then all of a sudden, he's got a big spark play like this. That's the challenge. These guys are just so talented. You can only keep them down so long. That was a really nice run. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Russ. He finds Austin with the grab. And they're going to be set up right around the 10-yard line. Well, they certainly aren't wasting any time marching down the field. I mean, you only need one hand to count how many plays they've run, and yet they find themselves first and goal inside the low red zone. So it took just three plays, but just like that, they have first and goal. From the shotgun, Wilson. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. And up until this point, this has been an incredibly efficient game from this quarterback. I mean, it's hard to think. Here we are in the second half, and that's only his second incomplete pass. So finally, the defense is able to do something to disrupt his timing. And finally... That is intercepted. Picked off by Roquan Smith. And the Ravens are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. All right, Mike file this play away if they're able to hold on and pull this game out we're going to look back on this as the pivotal moment of this game oftentimes it takes that one big moment to sway the outcome of a game and no bigger play than a pick deep inside your own red zone the ravens offense ready for their first possession of this second half this will begin at their own 13 yard line so work to do starting with this first and 10. It's the tight end likely in motion. On play action, here's Jackson. That's to the right side. He's got Andrews. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. There's no more efficient play in the NFL, Mike, than the play action passing game. And you can see here why. You make the defense have to honor both the run and the pass. And... He's able to pick up a nice gain to his tight end. In motion comes Andrews. They will not get this one off. It'll be a delay of game. No motion over Flowers. Second down, Jackson. Flowers with the catch. Now a third and two. It's the tight end likely in motion. He'll try and run for this with Henry. And he's going to be close to that first down. Looks like he made it past the yellow line. Yes, he did. It is indeed a first down. 
in real time from up here, Mike, I couldn't tell whether or not he got it at first glance, but I think after seeing the replays we have up here, it looked like he and his blockers got just enough, and they're gonna be able to keep this drive alive. On first down, they'll stay on the ground with Henry. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, nothing more. You could just see the frustration on the running back's face as he's getting helped up off the ground, Mike. There was just nowhere to go from the moment he was handed the ball. Give credit to the defense. Great job. We'll try again. It's second and ten. From the gun, Jackson. That's into the hands of Flowers. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. his own read and Jackson's going to keep it and he's going to be brought down right on that yellow line with the official signal he's got enough for the first down sometimes Mike the best plan is also the simplest plan and for this team just snap the ball to your quarterback let him find some daylight and go get that first down himself Bateman is the motion man play action now Jackson there's a short one caught by Andrews. And he is out of bounds, but not until he's inside the 40-yard line. Wow, how dangerous after the catch. That one goes for 27 yards in all. It's like a textbook, methodical, efficient NFL drive. Four for four, throwing the ball, mixing in some run. You're just marching the ball downfield at your will, and... They get a fresh set of downs now to see if they can convert this nice drive into some points. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down. go right back to Henry and they bring him down inside the 25 yard line first down run here by Henry and he signed with the Ravens this offseason and you think back to that run he had with the Titans Mike over the last six seasons over 8200 yards 80 touchdowns I mean one of the most productive backs we've seen in a long time now it's kind of scary to think he gets to join Lamar Jackson in this Baltimore backfield. They hope the two of them can be that combo to finally get this ball. Carry that ball loosely, and it is out. And the defense has it. Well, he certainly turned that into something on the move. Downfield, looked like he was gaining yards, but then loses control, and the defense comes up with a turnover. Early on, Mike, it looked like it was going to be a really good play by the quarterback, turning to his legs, getting some pretty good yardage with his feet. But then he failed to not only protect himself, but mostly protect the ball. Defense is able to put a hit on him, jar the ball loose, and now they'll take over after the big takeaway. So they come to the line for first down and 10. On the ground, it's Warren to start the drive. And he'll get about five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Now Russ, that's complete, left side to Pickens. And that's going to be a first down, a pickup of nine. Really nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. 
cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. And this will be a short pickup to about the 30. The veteran Kyle Van Noy in on the tackle. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. This one grabbed by Austin. He's to the 15. And they are not going to catch up to him. He will score. 70 yards. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Boswell now for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Steelers are out to a 21-10 lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Here comes Hill on the return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. So here's the Baltimore offense getting set for their next drive. They look to make some inroads here. They're down 21-10 to 10 in this one as they come up on a first down. Henry still keeping the legs moving somehow managing to turn that into a game here's second and nine the shotgun here's Jackson a throw left side there not going to find the target incomplete Zay Flowers the intended receiver and it's going to be third down and that sideline just cannot believe their guy did not come down with that play I mean that's as easy as it gets I frankly don't blame him. I mean that's a play at this level you just have to make your teammates are dependent on it and he's got it to Flowers for the connection. A pickup of 21 on that connection. Good for a Raven first down. I really like the rhythm that this offense has found, but they made it look easy. Everybody was exactly where they needed to be. The quarterback did a nice job working through his progression, saying, okay, I understand this is zone defense. I understand where the limitations of the coverage are. I'm going to get to that spot on the field as fast as I can, deliver the ball, pick up the first down. He's got his tight end. It's Andrews. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. We'll come to the line now on second and two. So, three quarters have come and gone. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Here's second and two.
Jackson going to keep it himself. Nice job by the defense. They had that one well read from the beginning, Mike. Someone's responsible for the running back, but the key here was the defender responsible for the quarterback. Stays with him, keeps him to a short game. Here's third down and a few inches. Back to throw, Jackson. He finds his receiver, that's Bateman. Offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. A first down throw for Jackson. There's that man again, another catch. And they're going to be set up right around the 10-yard line. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with. So they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. They'll run here. Can he get away? No, he's taken down behind the line. Good job by the defense with a negative play. Just feels like this has been the story of the day for this offense. Just unable to get anything going on the ground. And a big reason they find themselves trailing and another loss of yards. Bateman is the motion man. Off the play pick, Jackson. And he'll be taken down. Let's call it the seven-yard line. And here comes third and goal. This is a great example of why teams want to stay out of what they call passing downs, where a defense doesn't have to honor the run. In this case, they do. And man, the play-action pass just works off of that and can really lead to some chunk plays. Third and goal for Jackson. And he will score. Game on. Lamar Jackson. Touchdown, Baltimore. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. Gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance, but can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting? Big moment here for the Ravens as they will go for the two-point conversion. They'll keep it on the ground. And he will get into the end zone. The two-point conversion is successful. And game on. Lead is down to three here in the fourth quarter. So they've cut into the lead. Now just a field goal behind as they kick it off. It's a return. Here comes Calvin Austin. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. Steelers offense and Russell Wilson set to take over once more. And he has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. You've got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long.
So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. From the gun, it's Wilson. There's a short one caught by Fryerman. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. They send Fryermuth, the tight end, in motion. Now it's Harris. And he's going to have that first down. Tackle made up around the 35. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst, they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second and they get a fresh set of downs. Ball out to the 35-yard line as they come up for first and 10. They'll give it to Harris again. Not much there, maybe a yard. Here's a second and nine. Another run here with Harris. A nice pickup, moving it across the 40. We'll give him six on that play. They'll come up to third and three. Wilson lines up in the pistol. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. And on that third down, they thought an easy way to pick it up and get some positive yards would go to their quick game, but it didn't seem like the receiver and the quarterback were on the same page, and now brings up fourth down. Here's Hardy to return. And he'll get a few yards on this return up past the 15-yard line. The visitor's offense ready to see what they can do. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten. They'll stick to the ground. And he'll get two on this one before being taken down. They'll come up on a second down and eight. Slot man in motion left. Jackson now on second down. This throw right is taken in by Flowers. And it'll mark him down up beyond the 30. As this game continues to come down to the wire, Mike, it just reminds us, this is where quarterbacks earn their keep. You are judged by how you play in these critical moments in fourth quarter, down a score. It doesn't get much bigger than this. They motion the slot man left. And he'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Jackson. A throw left side caught by Andrews. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. Jackson up top again. 
Open man is Bateman. He's got him. When you're willing to throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you know what that tells me, Mike? The decision to go for it on fourth down has already been made. If you're able to pick it up with yards after the catch, great. But if not, it's a fourth and short, and you give yourself a realistic shot of converting on this fourth down. Now a fair catch, and it's going to be a long field. They'll take over right about their own 13. The Steelers' offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. They'll come up here first and 10. From the shotgun, Wilson. Got a man over the middle. It's picking. And they're going to get this all the way up close to the 40-yard line. A lot could go wrong anytime you decide to put the ball in the air here late in the fourth quarter as you're trying to run out the clock and protect this lead. But at the same time, I like that they haven't gone super conserved. Just hand off right, hand off left. And it just turns into tackling practice. So I like the balance of making the defense defend everything because right now, possess the ball, protect the ball, and ultimately just run the clock out. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. A give, and here comes Harris. And we'll see a timeout used by the defense, stopping it right out of the break. A minute 57 to go in the game. He'll try again here, second and ten. On the give, it's Harris. And once again, they try the same runner. They get the same result. Back-to-back -back carries of no gain. Now it's third down. They'll drop to throw. He's got his man. It's Jefferson. And now we get a timeout by the defense. So the clock stops with a minute 50 left in the game. The defense still with all three timeouts at their disposal as the quarterback's down to an E. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee.
So this one in the win column for the Steelers. They were the aggressors from the start, able to dictate the pace of play. And in the end, they come away with the victory. So that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. The Steelers, winners, as we say so long from the confluence of the Three Rivers in Pittsburgh.